Yo, we're actually 15th in the Premier League. We're literally in a relegation battle. To be honest, I told you guys, this Nottingham Forest career mode was going to be one of the most difficult career modes we've ever done. I mean, just look what Man City did to us. Oh, Bernardo Silva. I just went sliding in. Holland and... There you go. Cancelo Holland again. Mares. No, 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 Bernardo, no. Just, just end me. Just end my life here. I don't want to do this. To be honest, though, we've had our moments as well involving signing Anthony Elanga from Man United. And look what he did on his debut for us. Looking for Anthony Elanga. Can he score? Yes, he can. Anthony Elanga gets us our first goal. And he's doing the gritty, boys. He's doing the gritty. We move. This could be a crucial episode for the series because Rory Gardner and Oscar Gale, the two scouts we've got, they're going to be coming back from their projects, at least for the first month, to give us some talent. That could really rejuvenate the team. So I'm hoping we get some ballers from the Youth Academy. Yeah! Also, we better start winning a few games because I do not want to be in a relegation scrap come end of season. If you guys believe I can make Nottingham Forest the world's greatest club, well, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel. Let me actually see if you guys are giving me any advice from the comments. I want e, I just can't seem to pronounce this guy's name. I feel like an idiot every time I say it. Anyways, Awani has got a great storyline from Liverpool through the loans until his breakout season with Union Berlin. Please make him the main man of this career mode. Well, so far, he's yet to score for us, but he's already won my heart, having probably produced the best assist I've seen on FIFA 23. Take a look. First, Renan Lodi with a bad touch, recovers well, but then look at this for a pass. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know this guy existed before this game. We bring him off the bench and he does that. Like, are you even kidding me? So yeah, Taiwo Awani, we're going to try and make him the main man, but he's got tough competition from Dennis, who is a bit younger. Please use Neko Williams often since he's got loads of potential. Well, your wish has been heard. And because of that, well, Serge Ori has picked up an injury for about the next four to five weeks. So Neko Williams will anyway be playing most of the games and yes i want him to be the next big thing for us you know he's got the talent this is an interesting one what do you think is your realistic aim for the first season of this career mode well it's tough to say as of right now because if i'm being honest right now the goal would be to avoid relegation and build a squad for next season but it really depends if we get some good academy players if in january we can sign a couple of ballers maybe we can push for the top half finish but it's gonna be tough i'm telling you this nottingham forest series is gonna be a tough grind you should see the free agents as there are some decent players from the Greek and Mexican League. Okay, now that's an idea I can get behind. Let's see if there are any good free agents available. Okay, so I've actually managed to find four decent free agents. Akram Ati from Qatar. Is he going to be at the World Cup? Probably because he's 76 rated. Ochoa is another insane one. An 80 rated free agent, but we've got Dean Henderson. We don't need to sign him. Carlos Rodriguez, the Mexican. We don't need a cam again, so I'm going to pass on this. But Alexis Vega, 78 rated, 24 years old. Now, don't get me wrong. Elanga is still going to be the main man. But a bit of depth in our left wing position. I don't think we can say no to this. I like the idea. I was just seeing a few details about Alexis Vega in real life. And he's apparently never played outside of Mexico. But he does play for their national team. So he's good. I think in a career mode like this, these are the kind of signings we need to make. I think I'm pulling it off. Alexis Vega on a free. Let's do this you guys have been telling me a lot about it in the comments because i've seen his name pop up will he accept a rotation squad role he wants crucial bro he's coming for anthony elanga's spot but you know what if we want to survive relegation finish top half we need a bit of competition on the wings we'll give him sixty thousand per week 78 rated 24 years old alexis vega it's done what a free agent signing this is well an a grade for a free agent has to be we've agreed terms with alexis vega He's available for training and you can include him in your plans for the next match. That's got to be a lie. Stop the cap. Bro, is he actually available for us right now? Oh my god, what? We signed a player outside the window and we can play him? No, this makes no sense. We are not in the trans window, guys. This makes no sense. How on earth has this just happened? Look at this, guys. We're in September. The trans window should be done. Well, I guess it's because he was not playing any football. I don't know what the rules are of the Premier League, but I feel like we've just broken the Premier League's transfer rules. But hey, it's worked out well in our favor. It is what it 
Monthly. Oh, we've got our first monthly scouting report as well, which I'm really excited for. But before that, we play Arsenal in the Premier League. And hilariously enough, Arsenal are one point above us. What are they doing? Bro, this Biancon guy has become my favorite center back at the club for some reason. I just keep starting him over Willem Boley. We're also going to be playing Yates in this game for Cuyate. Alexis Vega will get his opportunity. He'll come off the bench. After getting destroyed by Man City, I don't have too many hopes for this game. But let's see. We can take advantage of Arsenal. Arsenal not being in good form, but right now they're taking advantage as how did they not score from that? Brennan Johnson, really good pass here. Neko Williams looking for Awaniwi. What? I just can't say his name to save my life. Somebody please help me to pronounce this guy's name. I'm just going to call him Taiwo until then. Yo, Beyond Kone is a bit insane. I can't lie. Look at him release the ball as well. Really intelligent player. Brennan Johnson looks for Jesse Lingard on the volley. Bro, what was that? Jesse, you're the goat. You can't be doing that. Brennan Johnson. Good pass. I see some nice movement in the box. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, here we go with Brennan Johnson. Now I'm liking this. Arsenal looking in the mud. Cut back inside. No, Brennan. That should have been a better cut back. We could have taken the lead. Oh, no. And they're on the attack now. Come on, Bianco. You got to do something, yeah. That's good defending, but he gets it back. Niakate as well. Saka with the chance. I don't know what's happening, but we get it away. No, Duan Zapata nope. going for it. What a save from Dean Henderson. And that should be it for the first half. Wow, the big teams in the Premier League are a nightmare to deal with. Guys, I think it's time we give Alexis Vega his debut. What? Can he do a free agent signing? The Mexican, out of nowhere, we're able to literally start him. Like, I don't get it, but let's pull it off. Here he is on the ball, Alexis Vega. Already looking really good, by the way. Look at him go. Bro, this is his first game. He goes Bruh. for goal, but the shooting is not quite on it. But the dribbling is there. He's good. Oh, no. Odegaard is through on goal. Big Dean Henderson, what a save. Bro, he's carrying us right now. Jesse Lingard getting in behind. Can we see something from him? Ah, the ball. Oh, no. Odegaard, this time I don't think we can stop them. <laughs> It's a simple chance for Duman Zapata. Arsenal take the lead. Alexis Vega looking for a striker. Can we finally see him score a goal? Oh, yes, we can. A one -y. Taiwo has scored 1-1 one -one against Arsenal. That's the first goal we've seen one of our strikers score. And it's taken us like a couple of months to make it happen. But we take it. I'm just checking who got the assist there. Of course, it's Alexis Vega. What a debut from him. Alexis Vega... Looking for Jesse Lingard. Can we see Jay Lings? Ah, oh, Ben White just made him look silly there. Oh, we could still get the ball. What were they doing? Classic Arsenal chaos, but no goal from us there. You know what? A draw against Arsenal? I'll take that, man. I will take that. It's now time to see our first monthly scouting report. Are we going to get any top-tier talents that get into the team already? Well, Rafael Martinez is not one of them. Alejandro Cruz, 15 years old, 475,000 value. He's definitely want to just scout for now at least this guy is trash Guillermo Aguirre looks good again that value is low so I'm not too sure the same with Vince Vicente Arias I'm not too sure about him so we'll scout these two guys for a bit and what about our English scout Ooh, uh, this guy 34 to 46 overall yeah not nobody's looking good from England as well all that hype and we literally get absolutely not a single good player into our academy you know what boys Alejandro Cruz valued at 47 75,000. I might just sign him up. You know what? Let's just do it. So here he is, the first player into our academy, Alejandro Cruz. Not too bad, you know. He's got some good stats, but I think he'd be much better as like a midfielder. Nah, he's got the dribbling though. I think he should be maybe like a right winger then. I don't know. We'll figure that out, but that's the first player into our academy. The pressure is on us, man. We're 16th in the Premier League. We can't depend on the academy to give us a savior in the next couple of months. That, that takes time. We need to go on a bit of a good run and get some results. We've got Bournemouth and Leicester City next. We need wins in one of these games. Oh, we've got an early chance and Anthony Alanga is through on goal. He goes for the chip. No way. He's actually pulled it off. Anthony Alanga with a chip shot and the gritty against Bournemouth. We lead. Bro, we could legit settle this game and get crucial three points. All we need is to score this penalty. Can Awani do the striker's job and score? He's missed. 
No, 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 but it's still enough to get us to win. That's a relief. Okay, what's this now? I wanted to let you know that Stad Rennie have been in touch. They're unhappy with how little playing time Bade is getting. Who the hell is he? Bro, I have legit not heard anything about this guy. He's a 73 rated center back that's 22. Yo, why haven't we been using him? He looks good. Like Bade? Well, what are his stats like? Bro, he's got insane stats. Well, not really pace wise, but he might be a player we need to be giving a few chances. But right now, I'm enjoying trust in Julian Bianco and he's good. Well, since he's on loan, we're just gonna ignore this. He can return back to his club. It is what it is. We're now playing Leicester City and this is not good. The game starts off with Jamie Vardy having a chance to score and he puts this one in. Vardy is having a party. Ah, this is the story of our season, man. We take a win occasionally, then we keep taking L's. Ah, the grind is real, man. We can't seem to get any sort of consistency. The good thing is we're still about four points clear from the relegation zone, but but that's four points that can change easily, especially considering our next game is at the Stamford Bridge. Of course, man. Aubameyang threw on goal as the game begins. Easy. <laughs> this is painful. Ah, 1-0 Chelsea. And now Raheem Sterling is in behind. I just can't even catch up to him. Sterling, I go sliding in, but there's nothing we can do. Chelsea are tearing us apart. Oh my god, they are just ripping us apart. This game is over. <sighs> We've just been exposed. We actually get a goal back with a one e, but doesn't matter. We we got completely destroyed. We're still 14th. We're super lucky that Southampton and Bournemouth have been equally as bad as us. So we're somehow staying above the relegation zone. But as I said before, this can change so freaking quickly. Anyways, we've got now a huge squad monthly report. Let's see if we're getting some good players now. Doesn't look like it. That The scout we sent to England is just... Yeah, he's a bit of a fraud. He's not got us anyone good. Enough's enough. Get me the next Andres Iniesta, please. Like, honestly. Ooh. Oh. I mean, not Andres Iniesta, but looks like we've got a baller, but in the goalkeeping position. But you know what? We could use him literally as a backup keeper. Emilio Bravo. We'll sign him up for sure. This guy doesn't look too bad, but I guess I'll just scout him in here. The others are just trash. He's actually 65 rated at the age of 17. That is mental. I think I'll keep him in the academy because he might grow more like that, but soon, I think I'm going to promote him. He's one academy player for sure. We're going to get involved in this series. Dean Henderson, better be careful. No way. After Aston Villa, we've got Liverpool and Manchester United. Bro, I want to cry. I want to cry. Look at my record against the big teams. 3-1 against Chelsea. We got a draw against Arsenal. We got clapped by Manchester City. I don't know what Liverpool and Man United are going to do to us. This game against Villa, we need to win. I really want to start Alexis Vega. So for this game, Brennan Johnson's going to be on the bench and Elanga will play on the right side. I can't afford to not play him. You guys are seeing who's scoring the goals for us. He's been our best player this season. Yo, we'll need to sign someone who can take free kicks for us. My God, Jesse Lingard standing over free kicks. Well, I'm going to take this one with Frula because you guys remember the last time we got a free kick, what happened? Well, take a look at that free kick. Why not? Let's just go for it. Frula... It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And he's actually scored a free kick against Man City, bro. But yeah, now this is a different game. We're going to see what we can do. I'm going to try an outside the foot curl shot. Call me crazy, but if this works, oh my God, Frula, it's decent. It's decent, but ah, uh, we've got a penalty. But before we be happy, I've literally not scored a single penalty. It feels like this season. Can a one -E put this one in? I'm going left. <laughs> Bro, I want to cry. I really want to cry. Jesse Lingard driving the ball forward. It's it's always going to make me crack up. But anyways, that's a good pass for Alexis Vega. What can he do? He's got a big opportunity this season, but... Oh, come on. Jesse Lingard outside the boot. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. What, what, what have I just done? I've just scored the greatest free kick in FIFA 23. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Jesse Lingard. All hail King Lingard. All hail King Lingard. How? How has Jesse Lingard scored from here? I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. What even? Look at that. Outside the foot. What? Bro, is he Roberto Carlos or something? 
How? How? That is the greatest free kick you'll ever see from the, the, the GOAT himself. Jesse Lingard has put us into the lead. I'm telling you guys, this series is already turning out to being one of the most incredible ones we've had on the channel. That Jesse Lingard free kick has given us a crucial win. Meanwhile, I've got a couple of players who we haven't been using all that much. Loan deals for them. I think we should take them because, you know what, they'll probably learn and become a better player in return. So players like O'Brien and Mbeso, we're loaning them out. By the way, that was Lingard's first goal of the season, and it was a banger like that. Like, what even? And there you go. A couple of players that we loaned out. They're leaving the club, and they're on their way to their new club. Incredible how he's joining Borussia Dortmund on loan. How weird is that? I can't lie, guys. Alexis Vega, good signing, but he's not really, you know, matched up to my expectations. I still think Elanga and Brennan Johnson are the players, you know, who we can rely upon. We're now up against Liverpool, and I'm genuinely terrified. So, Serge Aurier is back from his injury and I was thinking of playing him but you know what Neko Williams I think deserves to start against a club he was formerly at as you guys said a one he has a past at Liverpool if he can do something that'll be tremendous oh Brennan Johnson's got a chance he's wrong footed the defender Brennan Johnson up against Van Dyke, but he's not winning that it's the inexperience no they've got a chance here it's Thomas Muller who they've signed what an interesting signing by Liverpool not surprised Jurgen Klopp has made it, but Liverpool keep coming at us. We're defending for our lives in this game. Darwin Nunes, you shall not pass. Brilliant defending. Oh, this is not good. Way too much space for Darwin Nunes. Looking for Mo Salah. Easy. Renan Lodi, incredible. We're surviving in this game. But I don't think we can stop Darwin Nunes here. Our defense has been completely open. Dean Henderson charges, but no. Liverpool and Anfield have the last laugh. And that's how the game finishes. We fought really well. We defended for our lives, but we had no attacking firepower, which is something I keep noticing. If you look at the goals coming from our team, Awani has scored a couple, couple of assists. Dennis has scored like once. I think we need a new striker in January more than anything else. Of course, a defender would really help, but we need some firepower. There's no point if we can't win games. We don't score. We're not winning anything. I think one of these two will have to leave and i'm leaning towards emmanuel dennis i really am i really am i like awani that assist won me over so i think i am gonna transfer list him we can probably get about 12 million for dennis that will put our budget up to maybe like 13 billion and with that we can maybe sign a decent striker let's see how that plan works out for us but the tough games just keep coming at us because up next it's man united and we actually share a lot with them lingard elanga both former manchester united players dean henderson as well so these guys will have a point to prove i love how we're trusting bianco so much he's 71 rated center back basically starting for us here and of course we've got lingard elanga and henderson playing against their former clubs ronaldo oh boy we're gonna be up against him yes that man cristiano ronaldo he's the top scorer in the premier league bro this is an alternate reality in real life he's basically been finished i'm gonna get a lot of hate for that but hey he's he's one of the greats of all time but right Right now, I think we can all agree he's going through a bad moment. Uh-oh, Ronaldo on the attack here. It's problematic as they've broken through. Bruno Fernandes. Easy. Big Dean Henderson. You were supposed to stop your former team. We concede. I swear our record against the big teams in the Premier League this season, absolutely horrendous. Uh-oh, we're going to concede another one. We're just getting opened up here. Oh, my God. Renan Lodi, we could get back into this game. Jesse Lingard. No, Dea. Jesse Lingard. That was going to be his moment, bro. Oh. Bianco, he's our centre back. Of course, I'm not going to shoot with him. Frulin goes for goal off the crossbar. Bro, we've actually been able to compete with Man United for the first time against a big club. We're looking like the better team. Of course, they've got Maguire in there. No wonder. I see you. I see you, Anthony Alanga. He's giving it everything in this game. Nope. The header. Bro, De Gea is superhuman. Oh, Bianco against Ronaldo doing so well, firing it into our striker. But our striker just not it, man. The striker problems we're suffering through, it's, it's crazy. Okay. Okay, Renan. Doing really well. Looking back for Elanga. He's going to open up a bit of space. Going for it. Bro, the amount of insane chances we've had. Anthony Elanga is giving it everything too. Renan Johnson doing so freaking well here. Anthony Alanga, I see the space from Renan Lodi, looking for that ball in, and no, 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 I'm done. How did De Gea save that? I wonder he was offside anyways, but oh my god, that save. Bro, like, honestly, what even are these reflexes from De Gea? He was going the other way, 
and still managed to slap it away. Bro, they've got Harry Maguire. Surely we can punish them. Asamiro going for it. Good defending. We've actually played so well in this game. It's frustrating. We're probably going to get nothing out of it. Anthony Alanga is a baller, guys. Trust me. Trust me. He is an absolute baller. As we finally might have a chance. Awani, he's got the chance. Finally nope. gets the shot off. Nah, nah, nah. I can't believe the amount of chances. Lingard chipping this one in and the header saved again. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes and Dean Henderson keeping us in it, but it's a bit too late. This actual pain, Ronaldo almost just scored there as well. Renan Lodi is honestly a baller, man. Look at the work rate from this guy. No. Nope. for goal. De Gea saves that as well. We could have maybe gotten the equalizer. This game, we had so many chances, but no luck whatsoever. If one thing I've realized in this episode is that we really are missing a killer striker. Selling Emmanuel Dennis is the only way. 14th in the Premier League right now, but we do have a few winnable games ahead of us, and let's take advantage. We have a penalty to start things off with. My record with Awani through penalties has been the worst thing ever. If we can score this, Maybe it can, you know, get him back on track for scoring goals, bro. He's missed every penalty he's taken. We're not taking any more with him. Vega is getting a chance in this game to shine as well. Looking for one -y. Space nope. to shoot. Goes for it. Saved. Okay, where's our defense? Please, can somebody tell me where is our defense? Oh, my God. And we've got a red card as well. I didn't even realize we've got a red card. We're 1-0 down and he's doing Suey. this Suey celebration on us. Bro, what is happening? Free kick for us and I think Vega is our best free kick taker right now. And I might just have to go with it, you know? We need something special to get back into this game. Can Vega provide that? Decent power and everything. Oh, it's looking brilliant. Saved by the keeper though. Playing with the man down, it just wasn't our night. The good news is to get our minds off the recent bad results, we've got some huge scout reports and hopefully some top tier talents maybe not or maybe yes sam arnold he looks like the best academy player we've had so far we're gonna sign him off although the rest look pretty awful the scout we sent to spain again just disappointing talents these guys are okay nothing too amazing Ah, building up the academy is gonna be a process sam arnold looks like a proper baller and soon i think we will get him a part of the first team and everything but it's gonna be a bit of patience until we fully build a squad this cruise guy's a bit of a fraud so we're gonna let him leave although i can't lie sam arnold looks more like a winger to me than a central midfielder or even a cam i'm gonna make him a left winger and just see what kind of stats he rocks bro we are falling off the cliff right now we're just we're just three points off the drop zone we need to get some wins this next game against brentford is must win Oh my god, how do we concede that? From a corner as well. Ah, uh, we're gonna be in the drop zone by the time we get to January. This has to be Brennan Johnson's moment to pick out the right man. I think he's done so, finding Alanga, getting an inside shoot. Off the post, you can't write this, you really can't. We might still have a chance here. <laughs> it's awful. The difference in having a striker like Ivan Tony to lead your team, it's... It's crazy. This is the kind of player we need in our side to lead the line. Because without a striker, it's it's impossible. We survived that somehow, but we end up losing this game 1-0. One, one thing I'll tell you, in this episode, I've realized we need to sell Dennis, get the money, and look for a striker who could lead this team. Because otherwise, we're going right back down to the championship. We've got Yates playing in that CDM role in this game. And tell you what, he looks good. What a ball for Wani. Could he actually end up scoring for us? Could be a big moment in. Yes, our striker has scored. Oh my God, this isn't... My controller's been disconnected as well. What's happening? Well, technical issue is solved and controller's back on, but cannot believe our strikers actually scored. My God. Awani seeing Elanga and here he goes. Elanga looking to bring it inside. Looking for options. Finds a bit of space, but can't convert. Oh, Elanga could be through. Anthony Elanga could be through on goal. What a moment for him. He's got a score. He has to score. And yes, he does. He's been the man. But my controller is just letting me down. What's happening here? Anthony Elanga helps us get a win after so freaking long. Meanwhile, we just sold Steve Cook for 1.6 million. I didn't even know he existed. But we need the cash. Now that Awani got his goal, I'm just hoping we can see more from him. 78 minute of this game. Vega is off the bench. And a chance for him to prove his worth as he takes the ball wide go on vega what can he do from here maybe a cross in it's decent 
Why are we so bad? Honestly. Just when I thought we were getting a bit of momentum, only a draw from this. We've managed to increase our gap to the drop zone by like five points, but it's so freaking tight. Up next, it's Spurs. Gonna play Gibbs White for this game. I also want to try out Mangala. 24-year-old. We need to be giving him more game time than Fruler occasionally, at least. I'm still trusting Bianco. And he's been my go-to centre-back. Our record against the big boys in the Premier League? Awful. Can we change that again? against Conte Spurs. The quality of attacking display we're nope. playing against. Unreal. Hendo forced to make a big save. Oh, what a pass that is for Anthony Alanga. He's been the star for us and he keeps performing. What a finish. Literally, this man is carrying us. A man who does the gritty is carrying Nottingham. Like, what has life come to? Bro, I kid you not. I'm so tempted to just park the bus and get the dub secured here. No, Kane, no, please. No, oh, it's off the crossbar. Sometimes you need a bit of luck. Okay, Renan Lodi is so freaking good. Next season, we need to sign him no matter what. Don't want to get caught out napping. No, they've opened us up. Big Dean Henderson. We need this from you throughout the game. Son and you can't stop this. Young men, Sean, the quality Spurs have. <sighs> the grind is unreal in this series. Anthony Alanga, oh my god, he's just broken through everyone. Nope. Ah, oh, but he couldn't get the final defender. Bodhi looking for Elanga. See a bit of movement. Mangala with the big chance. Denied. Can't believe he's not scored that. Frula would have scored that 100%. And because of that, I think I'm going to just bring him on. Also, Brennan Johnson. I don't know what's, what he's doing. He needs to be doing more. Maybe his instructions are not on point. Let's put him on. Get him behind. Stay forward. Do something, man. You've got the potential. Make some movement, boys. Oh, there's just no movement. But Serge Aurea gets it. Strikes nope. it well. Forces a save out of Loris. Brennan Johnson with a chance, smashing it. Saved again. I'm gonna try the short corner this time and see how that works. Brennan Johnson looking inside for Frula. Bit of space for him. Oh, what a goal! Frula, the absolute machine. What's up with my controller today? Okay, it's fixed and now we can enjoy the Frula goal. What a player. Well, let's not bottle this. I really want a victory against a big team. Like, come on. Uh oh, uh oh. We're still in trouble. And Dean Henderson, you legend. A few moments later. No, no, no. That's a free goal for Mizuma. I want to break my controller, man. All that hard work and we end up conceding. Uh -huh. This Nottingham Forest career mode is going to take at least a couple of years off my life expectancy, man. Honestly. Watch them score now. No, Richarlison. Please, no. No, no, no. This can't be happening. I refuse to believe this. I refuse to believe this. Brennan Johnson, this is your moment, dude. This is your moment. Frulo with a bit of help. Shoots. He's put it wide. No. Okay, Brennan Johnson being given this freedom up top. It's actually working. If he can get this ball inside. Oh my God. What a chance. Surely. Let's go, boys. 89th minute. A one has actually scored. That's the first time a striker has done something in this game. Oh my God. God, the drama in this series. We're getting something out of this. And I'm so happy it was Brennan Johnson with the assist. He's woken up. I think we found the instruction. Give him the freedom. That's what he needs. What a win this is for us, man. What a win. Well, obviously it was a drop, but I'm just saying in terms of coming back from being 3-2 down and just uh, disappointed, that was a big effort. So we end the episode being still 14th in the Premier League, but we're almost in the January transfer window and this is where things could completely change for us. We're going to sell Dennis in the next episode, no matter what, and bring in a new striker. Let me know in the comments who you think that should be. And that's that for this one if you enjoyed this video and maybe want to see me fix manchester united click somewhere here